This is the pika. It's a small mammal related to the rabbit family. You might notice that all of its body features are rounded. This is to trap heat so they can survive in cold climates such as mountain peaks and icy caves. Climate change is making temperatures rise. It still may be comfortable for humans. For pikas, these temperatures can be deadly. Because pika's body features are so good at keeping them warm, they can't cool themselves down, so they easily overheat. In one hour, they can overheat and die at temperatures as low as 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. One scientist, Chris Ray, investigates pikas and how their habitat is changing. Why did you decide to start researching pika? Well, when I started, I was really interested in how humans are fragmenting animal habitat all over. And I was really into what I call spatial ecology. So we take a nice, big, huge habitat and we put roads through it. How can they survive? And so I, I chose pika as a, a study animal because um, they naturally live in fragmented habitat. They live in, only live in rock piles, and those are just Apache habitat spread all over the western U.S. And I realized, oh, they've gone extinct on a whole bunch of mountain ranges. What does your data tell us about the climate? One of the study areas where I work, we've actually looked at what's happening to the temperature in the summertime, and it has been getting hotter. There's actually a significant trend to getting warmer in the summertime. And then there's also a significant trend toward the snow melting out faster. So the pikas are being exposed out from underneath the snow earlier in the spring. And the alpine spring can still have cold snaps, even though the alpine spring is warmer now than it used to be. There are still some really cold days and especially some really cold nights. And the pikas are disappearing from that area now because probably because they're exposed to these extremely low temperatures. If the pikas are disappearing, probably one of our water sources is disappearing. Um, and so it's not just bad for pikas, it's bad for everything downstream. How can people help the pika population? Ride your bike more. Not inside. Use less electricity. Oops, I forgot to turn off the light. And write letters to your lawmakers. Dear lawmaker, save the pika. Keep it cool to save the pika. Yeah. <laughs>